Hello everybody and welcome to Can It Run? Windows 10 has been released recently and is being touted as the greatest thing to happen to personal computers since the Altair. But can it run all of your much beloved programs? My task is to find out if Windows 10 can replace Windows 7 and the much beloved Windows XP. So can Windows 10 run Fallout 3? Disclaimer. Fallout 3 is known to have severe compatibility issues with Windows 8.1. It is practically impossible to get Fallout 3 to work with Windows 8. It can be done, but it's complicated and seems to be severely hit or miss. So, can Windows 10 run Fallout 3? Let's find out. Play. Fallout 3 will now detect your video hardware and set video options accordingly. Well, this is to be expected. Video settings have been set for ultra high quality. All right, yeah, standard. Play, and we get... Ta-da, Fallout 3. Yes, we actually have a working Fallout 3. Now there is a caveat. When opening Fallout 3, Windows 10 pops up with a notification. This app might not work correctly. Fallout 3 isn't compatible with this version of Windows. Learn more. And if you click on learn more, you get a download box for game for Windows live setup.exe. Now, at first I was very confused as to why it kept saying that. But then I started getting error message that says, this app can't open because it's missing the file xlive.dll. So Fallout 3 requires xlive.dll. Well, xlive.dll is installed with Game for Windows Live. I would show off it doing that, but I can't because it won't uninstall fully. If you uninstall, if you install Game for Windows Live, and then uninstall Game for Windows Live, the DLL sticks around and the program opens fine. So keep in mind that it does that, and that Windows 10 is trying to give you the answer to the problem already, even though it doesn't fully realize that it did. Now, the second thing I had to do before was go into Options and set my resolution, because right now it's 1280 by 720, I had to set it to 1920 by 1080 and it just worked. Even though for yeah, reasons I don't understand 1280 by 720 is a perfectly fine, perfectly legitimate resolution. It might be that you just have to change the resolution. Now, if you have a very strange monitor, you might have to look into the graphics settings, which you can just right click on your desktop, go to display settings scroll down to advanced display settings and you can see your resolution right here so if you have a oddly shaped screen or a smaller screen than 1080p like for example a laptop you can change your resolution to that resolution might help you out but it doesn't seem to be required even after fully uninstalling and reinstalling fallout 3 anymore I just had to do it the first time. So we've seen the Fallout 3 start screen, so we know it can open, but can it actually run? Well, I have a saved game built into my system that we can see. I am overlooking the wasteland. Now this is a from a clean install. And I had just walked out of Vault 101, so I did the intro, I guess, level, you could call it, to Fallout 3 without a single hiccup. Not a one. This game, so far, is running beautifully. So far, it's actually running better than it did on Windows 7, which is saying something. And right now, we're opening, or we're loading... I got things. Point Lookout add-on. Do I got any more? Because I have all of the updates, because this is the Game of the Year edition. But right now, we're because we're walking through the w wasteland and loading up all of the add-ons, we're loading up the largest thing 
in the game. So if it was going to fail, this is where it would fail, one would think anyways. So let's check out another solution for a potential problem that will come up. Fallout 3 isn't known for st stability in general. There are There is a specific mod, the unofficial Fallout 3 patch, that is suggested a lot when looking up information on Fallout 3 to fix some of these severe problems with the game. Even in Windows 7, after you played for a long time, it will continuously crash on you and not let you continue the game. However, the unofficial Fallout 3 patch fixes that problem, at least from my experience. So I have Nexus Mods up, and I do have the Nexus Mod Manager running. And it's already set up as detecting my Fallout 3, and I already have the unofficial Fallout 3 patch downloaded but not yet installed. So if I install this patch, let's see if Fallout 3 will run just as well now as it did before the patch was installed. So if we launch Fallout 3 with the mods, so far so good, we've loaded the initial menu, and if we continue, yes, it will load the wasteland, the most difficult piece of the game to load, And it seems to be running fairly well. And I may be mistaken, but it does feel that it's running smoother. Now, that's probably the placebo effect. But it does kind of feel like the game is running smoother than it was before. So, will Windows 10 run Fallout 3? Yes at least the Game of the Year edition.